Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> so every time I do something like, oh, I remember my classroom at Timothy Ministry has this echo. My kids always laugh at me because I start singing and I'm like, this is the only time I sing because this echo makes me sound good. And they're like, you don't sound good. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I think so. <laughs> good morning, Cynthia. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So I think we have a very interesting topic this morning. Um, I'm glad that you thought about, you know, you thought about it. And I was like, this is a good one. This is a good one. So moms and even dads out there, the topic for this morning, drum row, is how to love your child when they are not lovable. But I want to add a little bit more to this, Cynthia. Okay. Different age groups. According to different age groups, how do we love our child when they are not lovable? So you're the expert. Do tell. <laughs> and you've had tons of experience. Yes. Too. Well, and I think we all have some children that, yes. let's yeah. hey, listen, even us, let's just say it. Even us, there's times where we oh, are not. You know, there's plenty of times that I can be irritable. Exactly. Not so it's even and, us. And I even tell the Lord, you know, right now I am feeling very nasty. I don't even feel like praying, but I want to tell you that because I know you already know, but I think when you're, when your kid is being difficult and they do know how to push your buttons, oh yeah, it's important to think about the definition of love because in the Bible, when God loves us, he loves us with an agape love, which is not primarily an emotion. Emotion does flow from it, but it's primarily an action type of a love and an action that seeks the best for the person that is being loved. And that is important because when your child is misbehaving, doing something that you don't like, doing something that you told them not to do 15 times or not mm -hmm. listening, and you're getting annoyed, you have to start thinking, I love this child. And right now I have got to do what is best for them long term and, and act on that rather than act on the emotions that are building inside of you, because you may be having negative emotions at that moment. And what you need to do is, <laughs> hi, Rio, we're talking about how to handle a child when they're not, not being not loving, when they're not, not being loving, loving, they're not being okay. loving. But at that moment, you almost have to step away from the negative emotions you feel toward that child and think based on their age and what right, that's my word at that moment, what do they need? Because I am going to do what is absolutely best for this child at this moment and say a prayer that what comes out of your mouth or two. <laughs> And because and, and I even started talking sometimes when my kids were disobedient or difficult, and I would keep talking until I fixed what first came out, because sometimes the first words coming out were not very good, but yeah. I would manage to get it so that, gee, I didn't mean to say that. Here's what I meant to say. And when you mature, this is what you will. So you do what they need because that is loving. Is that loving. is loving. I you love are it. acting in their best interest. And that is what you need to do. And it's not easy, but scripture calls us to rise above the emotions of the moment, just like Jesus did. If you think mm -hmm. about the New Testament, when he was just about to go to the cross, when he was in the garden, he wasn't looking forward no. to suffering. No. He was sweating drops of blood because he knew what stood before him. And so we sometimes have to act against our emotions to do agape love, which is an action to do what is best for the child at that moment. That is loving them. And then when you do that, I think when you think the right thoughts and when you do the right things, the feelings will come because mm -hmm. yes, they may need to be disciplined at that moment or corrected at that moment, but that's what they need. Right. That is love. And we don't, and, and we as moms don't want to add an extra element to the situation and then have a problem up here right. with ourselves and the Lord. 
Right. So it's like, okay, not only are we dealing with an unloving child, but then by us becoming unloving, oh, Sherlock, there's another problem. Mm -hmm. So let's not add to the problem of, of insane emotions. That's right. I love that. And, and one more thing I thought about also when you said the word Jesus, which is a mighty word and always like makes me like think of other things. Um, a good reminder to Cynthia is how many acts for us to ask ourselves, like in the midst of chaos, whether it be an unloving child or unloving social media peeps, I don't know, anything that's unloving at these days is how many times did they do it to Jesus? Mm -hmm. that's how many times was he spit? How many times was he lied to? How many times has he been blasphemed? Oh yeah, by the way, that continues too, but you know, it wasn't just before the cross it right. continues today right and he was not above scolding a little bit if he needed to because mm -hmm. again that was loving pointing right. out the truth is loving them mm -hmm. because that behavior whatever it is if it's inappropriate the consequences of that will not be good long term and you mm -hmm. need them to realize that so that mm -hmm. is loving your child yeah so um, something I thought about too, um, and I I, I, I I need to give him breakfast, guys. <laughs> so I'm like, that's why he's here. <laughs> but I don't want to forget, do me a favor, Cynthia, when you post this up on Facebook, please remind us to go and look at the um, interview that took place last yeah. night in Heart of the Matter. So please do that favor because I missed it this time, but I know it's, it's, it's probably something amazing. Um, you know, next week, I do want us to start talking a little bit about the interviews that you have, because I mean, those are just incredible people that you line up. So I don't want us um, to forget to mention that next week, but please do post that for me. This week. That it's up. It's about having a keeping a positive mindset. In Ooh, a I like that. World. So it's okay. very good. And it's, it's up there now. So if you want to see it, clsimmons.com, it's up. Okay, wonderful. All right. I'll see you next week. Thank okay. You. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.